Academic Writing, Lecture 4 Foreign Languages, Two Foreign Languages Lecturer, Shnar Nurmanova The theme of the lecture is Supporting Details, Facts, Quotations and Statistics. Learning objectives are to define supporting details, to specify the use of supporting verbs and phrases, to clarify punctuation direct quotation. The plan of the lecture is supporting details, facts, quotations and statistics, two, reporting verbs and phrases, three, punctuating direct quotations. So, cons concerning academic writing normally requires that you support your ideas and opinions with facts, statistics, quotations, and similar kinds of information. You get these kinds of supporting details from outside sources such as books, magazines, newspapers, websites, personal interviews, and so on. The supporting details in a text are important elements of a text. You can say that the main ideas or topics of stories or papers are the most relevant and important parts. These details can most often be found in persuasive or informative texts. This is making sense because when the writer wants to tell you about a thing or idea, they will have to support up all of their main points with even more elements so his or her readers will be certain that the information they are being told is accurate. In persuasive texts, when the author is doing his best to persuade the reader to think in a specific way or do something, he will make a point. Now, the author will have to support up these points to make the reader indeed think in what that way he wants or take the specific action that he wants his readers to take. Supporting details may often be easily spotted because authors will inform you that these details will be coming. Often, they will be making their main point followed by something that will be first or give a first supporting detail, then second to come up with one more supporting detail to be followed by finally, where they'll give us the third supporting detail. They also be, could be saying something like this, for instance, or for example, which would indicate that another supporting detail will be coming alone. A supporting detail must be two things. It needs to be both relevant, relevant and factual. If something would be factual and accurate, but not relevant at all to the story's main idea, it would be no good. Supporting details must relate to a story's main idea or concept and be accurate. First, it is important to distinguish between ideas and opinions. Opinions are subjective statements based on personal beliefs or attitudes. For example, men are better drivers than women. Opinions are not acceptable as support. It is certainly acceptable to express opinions in academic writing. In fact, most professors want you to express your own ideas. However, you may not use an opinion as support and if you express an opinion, you must support it with facts. Facts are objective statements or truths. Women live longer than men. Sometimes even facts need proof. While all these statements above are facts, the last two need proofs. Your readers may not believe that women live longer than men, or they may not agree that cigarettes are additive. You have to use specific supporting details to prove that these statements are true facts.
Kinds of supporting details include examples, statistics, and quotations. Where can you find specific supporting details to support your ideas? For some assignments, you may be able to use examples from your own personal experience, or you may be able to gather quotations and statistics by performing an experiment, taking a survey, or interviewing people. For other assignments, you may have to look for outside sources by researching your topic in a library or in the Internet. There are three ways to insert outside information into your own writing. You can quote it, you can summarize it, or you can paraphrase it. This is an example of a text where all types of supporting details given. So, the text is, although some people think red light training is a minor traffic violation that is no worse than jaywalking, it can in fact become a deadly crime. Red light runners cause hundreds of accidents, including deaths and injuries, as well as millions of dollars in damages. Each year, more than 900 people die and nearly 2,000 people are injured in crashes that involve red light running. Motorists run red lights all the time. For example, in Fairfax, Virginia, a five-month long survey at five busy intersections revealed that a motorist can a red light every 20 minutes. Red light runners are seldom caught. According to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, communities don't have the resources to allow police to patrol intersections as often as would be needed to ticket all motorists who run red lights. An example, red right runners, runners cause hundreds of accidents, including deaths and injuries, as well as millions of dollars in damages. A statistic, each year more than 9,900 People die and nearly 2,000 are injured in crashes that involve red light running. Motorists run red light all the time. For example, in Fairfax, Virginia, a five-month long survey at, busy, at five busy intersections revealed that a motorist can a red light every 20 minutes. In quotation, Communities don't have the resources to allow police to patrol intersections as often as would be needed to ticket all motorists who run red lights. So these are examples of different types of supporting details. Reporting verbs and phrases are used to introduce a quotation or other borrowed information. Some of them are here, you see, according, insist, claim, say, declare, State, mention, report, suggest, etc. So, it is important to learn, to learn how to use information from outside sources without committing plagiarism. Plagiarism is using someone else's words or ideas as if they were your own and it is a serious offense. Students who plagiarize may fail a class or even be expelled from school. When you use information from an outside source, without acknowledging that source, you are guilty of plagiarism. One way to avoid plagiarism is to always put quotation marks around words that you copy exactly. You do not need to use quotation marks if you change the words. You are also guilty of plagiarism. If you fail to cite the source of outside information words, or ideas that you use. To cite a source means to tell where you got the information. To quote is to reproduce that someone else has previously expressed. It is important to pay attention to quotation rules, such as the necessity to give the exact wording of the source that is being quoted to identify the source. Quotations from reliable and knowledgeable sources are good supporting details. There are two kinds of quotations, direct and indirect. In a direct quotation, you copy another person's exact words, spoken or written, 
and enclose them in quotation marks. In an indirect quotation, you report the person's words without quotation marks, but with a supporting expression such as according, believes that. To introduce borrowed information, direct quotations, indirect quotations or statistics use the phrase according to or to a reporting verb such as the following, assert, insist, report, suggest, claim, maintain, say, write, declare, mention, cite, etc. There are some rules for their use. Reporting verbs can appear before, in the middle, or after borrowed information. The reporting phrase according to usually appears before or after, but not in the middle. One young bicyclist says, to win in world-class competition, you have to take drugs, Jones. According to this, to the young bicyclists, and athletes can uh, have to take it. Reporting verbs can be used either with or without the subordinator. As the writer says, when discussing the case of an Olympic medalist who unknowingly took a banned drug, the human body, of course, doesn't distinguish international use from inadvertent explosion. Neither does the IOC, International Olympic Committee. Follow these general rules for punctuating direct quotations. Put quotation marks around information that you copy word for word from a source. Do not use quotation marks with paraphrases, summaries, or indirect quotations. Normally, place commas and periods before the first mark and also before the second mark in a pair of quotation marks. According to Sports Illustrated, eliminating drugs used from Olympic sports would be no small challenge. Eliminating, and these are important exceptions. If you insert only a few quoted words into your own sentence, don't use commas. When you add in text citation after a quotation, put the period after the closing, closing a parenthesis mark. The Institute of Global Ethics wants the Olympics will become just another money-drenched media promotion in which contestants will be motivated less, less by athletes' glory than by illustrate lucrative future contracts. So changing direct quotations to indirect quotations. To change the direct quotations into indirect, the first, omit the quotation marks. The second, add the subordinator mark that you may omit that if the meaning is clear without it. Three, change the verb tense if necessary. Follow the sequence of tenses rules. Four, change pronouns and time expressions if necessary to keep the sense of the original. These are the important points covered in this chapter. So, in academic writing, you are expected to use information from outside sources to support your ideas. Keep in mind that the system of education values students' original thinking and writing. Use outside sources to support your own ideas. Don't write a paper that contains only the ideas of others. Secondly, Search for specific supporting details in the library or in the internet. Direct quotations. Repeat the writer's or speaker's exact words and place them inside quotation marks. Indirect quotations. Report the author's words, making changes in pronouns and verb tenses as necessary. Do not use quotation marks. Use appropriate statistics to support your points. Three. Don't just put a quotation or a statistics into your paper. Make the connection between the borrowed information and your idea clear. 4. Cite your sources to avoid plagiar plagiarizing. And you see here revision questions. Be ready while getting to the lecture. Be ready to answer the The first, what does concrete support contain? What kind of concrete supporting details do you know? What do some statements need? Why is it so important to use supporting details? What kind of quotations do you know? And the sources which you may use while getting to the seminar.
practical tasks and lecture.